Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design this super cool poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file you downloaded. Open the project PSD file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. Next, we are going to drop in our background image. For that, again go to the project file. Open the background image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool, Ctrl T and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to add a color lookup adjustment layer for that go to the adjustment layer create color lookup layer there i'm going to select candlelight option this one now i'm going to reduce the opacity down to 72 percent fine next we're going to add night effect for that we're going to add solid color go to adjustment layer create a solid color layer I'll pick black color. Now change the fill down to 20%. Fine. Next, we're going to drop in our model image at the center here. For that, select the model group. Now go to the project file, open the model image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. This image is neatly cropped. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize the image. I'll place the image at the center here. Fine. Once you're done, next we are going to add a brightness adjustment layer. This one. Now right click and clip mask the layer. Now I'll keep the red. Sorry, I'll reduce the brightness down to minus 84. Now I'll reduce the contrast a little bit, minus two, something like that. Fine, once you're done, now next we are going to create a color lookup layer. Go to adjustment, select color lookup. There select late sunlight option, this one. Make sure to clip the layer, right click, create clip masking. Fine. Now I'm going to change the blending mode to darken. Next I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 35%. Fine. Once you're done, next we're going to add glow light effect. For that, go to the light group, create a layer, change the blending mode to screen. Now go to color picker, sample and select this orange color, click OK. Now select brush tool, select soft round brush, this one. Increase the size a little bit and give a single click. Fine. Next we are going to repeat more or less the same step, create a layer, change the blending mode to linear dodge add, this one. Now go to color picker, now sample and select this yellow color, click OK. Again with the soft round brush, I'm going to give a single click, fine. Next we're going to create another layer, I'll change the blending mode to soft light. Again I'm going to change the color to, sorry I'm going to say yellow color with the same soft round brush, I'll reduce the size a little bit and give a single click. Now enable free transform tool, control T and Resize the shape like so. Fine. Next, we are going to repeat the very same step. Create a layer. Change the blending mode to screen. Now, I am going with the same yellow color. With the same soft round brush, give a click. Fine. Now, enable free transform to control T and resize it like so. Now, I am going to reduce the opacity down to 
fine next we're going to add night effect to our ambience for that go to the effects folder create a solid color layer select black color click ok now select the mask layer this one now go to color picker select black color and fill the color using keyboard shortcut alt backspace fine we are going to apply dark effect only to those areas we want we are going to use masking technique for that now go to color picker select white color now pick brush tool make sure soft round brush is enabled please do note that we have a light source at the center i'm sure you'll have an idea which part going to be brighter and which part going to be darker now i'm going to reduce the brush opacity down to 40 percent fine now increase the size and unmask the area you want to apply dark effect while applying dark effect if you make mistake all you got to do is pick black color and mask the area you don't want the dark effect repeat the step until you get realistic dark night kind of effect once you're done go to the model folder we're going to add shadows and make bottom part of the stock image little darker to make it look realistic now we are going to make left side part of the model image little darker fine for that go to the model folder create a layer right click and clip mask the layer now go to color picker sample and select this brown color click ok now i'll change the blending mode to dark and dark color fine now select soft round brush i'll reduce the opacity down to 50 percent now make the bottom part and few other left side part of the model image little darker next we are going to add shadow on right side for that create a layer right below the model image like so fine now go to color picker select black color i'm using the same soft round brush this one okay i'll reduce the opacity as 50 percent now give few clicks to create shadow kind of effect Once you're done, next we're going to add glow effect to our model image. For that, go to model folder, create a layer, right click and clip mask the layer. Fine, change the blending mode to color dodge. Fine, we're going to add glow effect to left side of the model image. Go to color picker, sample and select this yellow color. Now pick the brush tool, soft round brush. I'll keep the opacity as 100% and add few realistic glow effects like so fine once you're done next we're going to add ambience glow effect for that go to the lights folder create a layer change the blending mode to color dodge now go to color picker sample and select this kind of off brown color click ok i'm going to use the same soft round brush I'll increase the sorry decrease the opacity down to 50%. Now give some random clicks to create realistic ambient glow effect. Fine, once you're done, our poster is almost ready. As a final step, we're going to add few more effects. For that, go to the effects folder, create a layer. Sorry, gradient map layer. There, select violet orange gradient. This one, click OK. I'll change the blending mode to overlay. Fine, this one is too harsh. I'll reduce the opacity down to 16%. Fine, next, we're going to add glow effect to the lamp to make it look a little more realistic for that create a layer i'll change the blending mode to color dodge now go to color picker select white color i'm going to use the same soft round brush i'll keep the opacity as 100 percent reduce the size and give a single click there you go now 
Next, we are going to add another color lookup layer to make the poster look little more realistic. For that, go to the adjustment layer, create a color lookup layer. There, I am going to select foggy night option. This one. Now, I am going to reduce the opacity down to 50%. There you go. Our post is almost ready. As a final step, I'm going to merge all the layers into a single layer. For that, hit Ctrl Shift Alt E. Now I'll change the blending mode to Vivid Light. Now go to Filter, Other, select I Pass Filter. There I'm going to going with radius 0.8. Fine. Now click OK. There you go. Now our super cool night effect poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials. Subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.